It's Toy Tuesday time. Hello, I'm Mark and welcome to Brooks Collectibles Shop and Toy Museum. As you may or may not know, I've been building a Stormtrooper helmet over the last couple of weeks. Here it is all finished, but this week I've been painting it, so what I'm going to do now is show you the video of me doing that. So my paint has now arrived. It is time to paint a Stormtrooper helmet, or how not to paint a Stormtrooper helmet, depending on how badly I do it. Now, I am on the shop floor, there'll be background noises, and every now and again, I'm gonna have to put my COVID screen on, so the sound quality may go a bit weird. There is a screen here as well, which is why there's an odd light source there, just to uh, make sure you can see everything and without any reflections, because it was blocking my head out, which is obviously the most important thing for the video. Um, I have no Chucky Bicky today, so let's crack on. Still on a diet though. Right, so let's have a look at the paints from the nice people at Humbrol. Right, there you go, that massive box for four little tins of paint. It hardly seems worth it, does it? Now what I did do is I kept some of the offcuts from the ears and I'm gonna do a little bit of a test paint, see how everything works on there because I've not painted on this kind of plastic before. I'm not used to using these kind of paints. Normally I use acrylic. So the majority of the painting that I'm gonna be doing today is with uh, Gloss Grey 109 Humbrol Enamel Paint. I think it's got a fancy name actually. Let's have a look. It is number five, Dark Admiralty, Dark Admiralty, Dark Admiralty Grey. Just put my teeth back in. Uh, Dark Admiralty Grey Gloss Enamel Paint number five from Humbrol, which I'm going to give a, a good mix first of all, and then I'm going to get a toothpick and stir it up, and then I'm going to put it in one of these little pots and thin it down a bit and see what it's like to paint with. Now I have got some official Humbrol Enamel Thinners, but it's the colour of Wii and it looks like an antique bottle. So I'm not going to use that and risk buggering the paint up. I'm just going to use white spirit or terps or mineral, mineral spirits, is it you call it in America and Canada? Whatever it is, if anyone from across the pond is even remotely interested in what I'm doing, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. I'm going to see what that's like thinned down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So I've come up with a bit of a plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the grey areas on the helmet first. I've removed the first ear that I cut out here and I'm going to paint this bit. And if I show you from my reference material there, it's kind of round on this side and then square on the other. So I'm going to copy that as best I can. But I rather stupidly have drilled that screw hole a little bit higher up. So I'm going to squash it down a bit and see if I can get it looking right. But yeah, so I'm going to paint all the grey first. And the simple reason is it's quite cold in here and it's quite humid. And in the past when we've made anything with resin or painted anything or sprayed anything, it's taken a very, very long time to dry. So if I get the grey on today, then it's got a good 24 hours or so to, to try and dry through so that I can paint over it and masking tape over it as well without pulling any bits off. So we'll see how this works. Um, that's one of those fancy condiments that you get in hotels when you stay over with your marmalade in, or well, that one had honey in, but they're handy for little bits of paint. So I'm gonna crack on now painting this after I've answered the phone. Tea up. Brilliant. <laughs> You know I'm going to put that in the video now, don't you? <laughs> Someone who doesn't like to be on camera. Definitely now. <laughs> Did I get a biscuit? I didn't get a biscuit. No biscuit. Not <laughs> dinner yet. So quickly, while there's no one in the shop and I can take my visor off and speak, I'm going to show you 
that's the first ear painted and I'm not really very pleased with it. I don't think I've got it looking quite how it should do but it's as good as it's going to get as far as I'm concerned. It's not easy to paint on this surface and it's very easy to get you know to go over and make a mistake so I'm going to go very very slowly and carefully. I'm going to do the other ear now. That one is a lot squarer so I'm presuming that's a lot easier to do. Making that round was what kind of really cocked it up. So next ear and then I'm on to the face which I'm not looking forward to. Now I'm hoping the difficult second ear to cut out is actually the easiest one to paint. So let's give that a go right now. Right, quickly while no one's in the shop again, I'm going to have to stop saying that because that's going to be everything that I cut to, isn't it? Whilst no one's in the shop, I am going to show you the difficult second ear which I have painted and that actually looks a little bit better than the first one. I'll show you. <laughs> what? That's called moral support. I'm killing myself cleaning and rinsing that painting ears. Now then, I have taken the potentially controversial step of drawing these out because I found it extremely difficult painting these without a guideline and I think with not being able to see as well as I used to and not having the steadiest hand in the world um, it's better if I have a guideline just to paint round so that I can make those more accurate so what I'm hoping to do is get all the grey paint done today on this and then it's got overnight possibly two days to dry out then which is cool Bars open. Thank you very much. That's the first of the traps painted. I've just got the front and the sides to do. It's a little bit fiddly. Like I say, I've drawn a pencil line in, which is cheating a bit, but it. Which is cheating a bit, but I can't see it without following a line, and I really don't want to mess it up like I did on the ears. So it, I think it's better for me to have a guideline while I'm painting. But that looks that looks pretty good, I think, when I compare it to the reference. Maybe I need to go a little bit wider on the edge, but maybe able to do that with the black line when I paint those in. I'm going to crack on painting these with my steady hand. How are we doing, Dave? Patching up the old thing, are you? Now that sounds completely wrong on many levels. Why, what are you doing? Well, touching up the old thing. Oh. Hey puppy, how you doing? Hey? <coughs> hey good boy. Uh, I'm YouTubing Dave. YouTubing. What? On YouTube? YouTube. YouTube, yeah, I'm building a Stormtrooper helmet. If you're enjoying my How to Paint a Stormtrooper video, then please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel too. Now at the end of this video will be a link to the videos of me building this, but for now I'm going to get back to painting it. But yesterday I painted all the grey bits on the helmet, today I've been doing all these little black lines which are really hard to do. I've been using a brush called a rigger brush and I've been practicing not very well. Now this is my test paint from yesterday and what I discovered was when I put this very expensive masking tape on it, it actually ruined the gloss finish of the paint. So what I have used instead is just ordinary cheap masking tape and that works perfectly, doesn't destroy the finish on the helmet. And I'm glad I did that test piece now, otherwise I'd have wrecked the paint on the helmet and had to start again. So that was a, if that's a good top tip, I would take it, just use ordinary masking tape. Now, these lines are really hard to do, really shaky, but the grey paint is your friend because you can go in afterwards with the, with the long brush and just sharpen up those edges. I think those have come out pretty good. We also did the ears as well, the front traps. Now these ones here are a little bit difficult because there's a lip there and that makes it really hard to paint round. So what I would suggest is you mark that with a pencil first and if you do mark it with a pencil you can always rub the lines out once the paint's dried with a little bit of blue tack that's really good at getting in those corners. Also toothpicks and cotton wool buds are your friends for just sharpening up those edges or wiping away runs. Also white spirit as well which I've used. Now 
test the white spirit on the on a spare piece of plastic before you put it on the helmet just in, in case it takes any of the shine off it those are my tips for painting and practice 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 before you commit as well that's me trying to draw it out with a, pe a, a marker pen first just so that I can make sure I can do it so tomorrow I am going to go on to painting the tube stripes which I am dreading I've also been practicing that as well and we'll see how that goes because they've not gone very well in my practice runs no pressure there Here is my finished Stormtrooper helmet. This is an RS Propmaster stunt helmet kit. It's very cool. It's cast from an original screen used helmet and I've cut it all out and sanded it down and put it together and I've also been hand painting it as you well know because you've just watched the video. Now if you haven't seen the video of me making it, I think there's going to be a link to a card somewhere here at the end of the video so you can go and watch those and I'd appreciate it if you did. Also if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do as well. Next week is going to be completely un-Star Wars related. We're going to have a little bit of a break from that because I've been a bit Star Wars heavy doing the blaster and then this. Now this is going to be going on display in our toy museum very very soon providing the entire country doesn't go back into lockdown but hopefully it won't do and you'll be able to come and see it. Now if you are passing Blackpool and you want to come and see this helmet our address is in the description below. If you're thinking about building a helmet like this then if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you've enjoyed the video also leave a comment as well it would be great to hear from you and if you've spotted any mistakes that i've made as well then please let me know too so for now this is my latest toy tuesday video how to or maybe how not to paint a stormtrooper helmet i will be back next week with like i say a completely different style of toy tuesday something a little bit a little bit different a little bit silly but for now that is it take care and stay safe and i'll see you for my next toy tuesday